Thank you, Coach Yenotro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Captain uh, Munio. And now, my appreciation to my very good friend, uh, uh, Sezu. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Now, I will go first, Coach. Uh, both sides, what are your expectations for tomorrow's match? Yes. So, at first, I want to say hello to everybody. Hi. I'm happy to see again some good friends. We were working together, I can say, for five years and a little bit more. And I had wonderful uh, memories with you here together in this stadium. So now the football brings us together again. We already played uh, in June in Abidjan. Some of you were there. Now we are here again in the same group of qualifiers for the AFCON and we are happy to can play in such a wonderful stadium. It's a little bit, of course, for me and my former staff from Nigeria, who is still with me, a little bit emotional to come back, because we had so wonderful moments that uh, we cannot forget. But now there is a very important game tomorrow. My job is now in Benin, Benin Republic, and uh, we are ready to play the game. Unfortunately, we miss one player, one good player who is injured, is Mohamed Tijani, but we will replace him. And the, the other guys are here. It's not the same situation because now Nigeria has a complete team. All the big players are here. We didn't see in June uh, Osimhen, Simon Moses, Ola Aina, they were not here. All these big players and uh, Dele also, Bashiru. So we had uh, a game which we could win, but we know that it will not be the same here. It will be more difficult because we are away, we are in Nigeria. And also, all the players from Nigeria are playing in the clubs regularly, which is not the case from my team. Some of my players still are searching to have competition in the clubs and the beginning of the season is not easy for some of them. But it means that uh, we are ready like a team with a good spirit and we hope to see a good game in a full stadium, I think, tomorrow afternoon. Thank you very much. Uh, Who goes first? Okay. Name? Aminio. Good day, coach. Welcome back to you. My name is um, Tukoni for Football Fans. My question to you is what's your message to the players with Nigerian heritage in your team? Yes, we have some uh, players who are born in Nigeria. It's a neighbor land, so uh, they also speak Yoruba. And so, uh, yeah, as I have to forget, they are also a little bit Nigerian. They <laughs> are now playing for Benin. And uh, they will give the best for the country and uh, I think they will be able to have perhaps a special motivation to show that they also could have a chance to play for Nigeria. That's what I hope and uh, there will not be any problem for them, they are professionals, to play a football game tomorrow. Okay. Uh, all right, coach, uh, welcome back to you. My name is Basi from the Mix FM. Uh, you spoke highly of um, a nest of champion while you were in Nigeria. And now you're coming back to the same stadium. How does the knowledge of uh, some of the players in the Super Eagles squad and a familiar stadium help you in tomorrow's game? Yes, so uh, it's for me important to know how are the conditions how was the traveling? We had a good traveling to come. Last time when they came in 2019 was the first match we played here against Benin Republic, you remember? Yeah. And we won 2-1, it was not easy. Yeah. They made a very good AFCON, they finished, I think, quarter-final. And uh, Steve was already there. Uh, three or four other players were there, they're coming back. So it's uh, motivation for them to do a better result. 
and uh, we had problems. I remember we had to score a penalty and uh, we won only 2-1. They scored the first goal in the beginning. So it's an experience. For me, like a coach, it's uh, an advantage to know the opponents a little bit. But it's not because I know them that it will be easy. Uh, we know that they have the better players when you take the two teams, the 23 players. We don't have these players in the big clubs like Nigeria has. We have one player playing in Bundesliga, is Steve Moulier in Augsburg. We have one player playing in first league in Angers, is Cedric Kundonji. And then one in Bulgaria or two. And then the second division or third division. Or uh, It's not the same. But like a team, we have young players now. I'm very optimistic that we can do something well. In this year, we played uh, two games in March against the uh, Ivory Coast after the victory in the, the AFCON. We played in Amiens in France. They wanted to celebrate the victory, but we made a 2-2, a very good game, and then against Senegal, and the two games in June. It gives us confidence. So I hope that tomorrow the team will be able to be a good opponent for this uh, big Super Eagles. Ah, Munir, you scored one of the goals in Abidjan against the Super Eagles. You planning to score tomorrow? <laughs> oh, obviously, uh, it's important as a striker to, to be able to help the team and score goals. But the most important for us tomorrow will be to make a result. And uh, no matter who scores the goal, no matter who uh, assists the goal, the most important is to take points tomorrow, and that's what we're going to try to do tomorrow. Thank you. Quickly. My name is uh, Mike DeBonny from 54 Football. And I'd like to ask you, uh, you're a teammate to uh, midfielder, and that's uh, speaking of uh, the one that just confessed to your side, both Frank Oyeka. Have you spoken to him about the game yet? Not, not really, because uh, he didn't come in uh, Augsburg when he signed. Uh, I think he went straight away to Nigeria to prepare the games, so I didn't get the chance to meet him. So maybe tomorrow we're going to talk after the game. Very good. Uh, Isaiah, can we take uh, Mojo? Yes, man. And that one. Quickly. Yeah, good evening. My name is Isaiah and I like to see sports. Coach, I'd like to ask um, what is the fundamental difference between working in Nigeria? Yes, the fundamental difference is at first that you have much more players for the selection in Nigeria. They are playing everywhere around the world and in big leagues also. And uh, so it was not easy to, to do the list of 23 because we could do sometimes a list of uh, 50 or 60. Uh, that is the first thing. Then, uh, I must say, in Benin Republic, it's a small country. You only have 12 million people. In Lagos, not far away, you have, I think, 20 million. So, uh, you see, the life is more quiet. The people are good people, honest people, like in Nigeria, also the same mentality. But it's closer to France. And in football, I must say that I have a good organization in the league. They have uh, 20 stadiums, all the same, not like this, but uh, good infrastructures. And uh, even for the federation, we cannot play actually in our stadium because uh, it's no more homologated. They're making the grass, they're making around the stadium everything. But it will come. We have a new sports minister, a young one. He's with us here. And uh, everybody wants to go forward. And our team is an age average of 24.5, which is a good one. You remember with Nigeria in the World Cup, we had the youngest team in the World Cup. So we found good under 20 players. They are coming in the team now. And uh, with the time, they will go better and better. Thank you very much. Uh, Coach Paul Victor with zero media. Coach, yesterday Ghana was beaten by Angola. Benin has beaten Nigeria quite quite recently. 
do we still have, are the days gone when we just have the big superpowers in African football and they beat every other person? Are, are those days gone? Are there still small teams in African football? Yeah, there are no more small teams. It's, uh, everything is possible. You see that uh, uh, also in the AFCON, a lot of surprises. And uh, I was happy for Nigeria to go until the final, of course. But uh, you've seen small teams like Mauritania, uh, Mozambique, who eliminated Benin in the qualifiers. Everybody is playing good football. They are working hard. Yeah. And it's very, very difficult to beat the small teams. There are no more small teams. So uh, we have our chance tomorrow. We know that we are outsider. That is normal, but the, to be an outsider can be sometimes an advantage. All right, Coach, Isaac, I play from... No, 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 no. Who's that? Okay. Yeah. All right, Coach. Only two points. Okay, go. Yeah, please. I'm sorry. Yeah, Coach, Isaac, I play from ADBN TV. Um, Coach, the last time you faced Nigeria, you played against Coach uh, Afinidi George. Nigeria has a new coach now. What are your concerns uh, about that? I think it's good to have uh, a coach who knows the players and Austin knows them very well. He had uh, some experiences in the, the AFCON when I left and in the try to go to the World Cup. So I think that we learn of these things who happened. And uh, I saw that a German coach should come but could not. Uh, I would be happy also to say hello to in my language, my uh, mother language or father language to, to Bruno Labadia, but it, it didn't work. So I think it's an advantage to have a coach who knows the players. That's why uh, Austin Eguawan, I think, uh, will have a work which is easier than the work would have been for Bruno Labadia. Bonsoir, coach. Bonsoir, coach. Bonsoir. Albert Oudeji, Radio Bénin. J'imagine que jouer à Rio pour vous doit avoir une saveur particulière. Du coup, est-ce qu'il a été différent ce match-là à préparer par rapport aux autres On ne l'a pas préparé différemment. On l'a préparé de la même manière. C'est-à-dire, euh, on a essayé de se regrouper à Abidjan dans de bonnes conditions, de faire des entraînements deux fois par jour pour avoir euh, un groupe en bon état physique et surfer sur cette dynamique que nous avions obtenue à travers nos derniers matchs. Euh, jouer dans un endroit qu'on connaît bien, ça ne change rien à tout ça. C'est tous des professionnels, ils savent qu'il faut commencer à se battre, à être bien organisé contre un adversaire qui va être, être encore meilleur et plus difficile à battre que la dernière fois, mais on y croit. Steve, excuse-moi. Steve Monnier, oui. justement, c'est quoi l'état d'esprit aujourd'hui du groupe départ à la veille de ce match-là non, mais l'état d'esprit, il est simple. On a manqué les deux dernières cannes et nous, tout ce qu'on a envie, c'est de ne pas louper celle-ci. Donc, euh, on a un état d'esprit de, de conquérant. On a envie de, bah de, 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 de faire des belles choses dans cette, enfin, cette course à la qualification. Et, euh, et voilà, le match de demain est très important, même s'il ne définit pas le reste euh, des, des qualifications. Mais, mais voilà, nous, on est, on est très motivés pour, pour se qualifier pour la prochaine canne. Merci, Monique. Coach, as the coach of the Super Eagles, good evening. Good evening. As the coach of the Super Eagles, you had some very nice results here against Algeria, Zambia, and Cameroon. You would say Uyo was a place to be. What was, what can you describe as your best memory? Yes, the matches you spoke about already were fantastic. My first match was here all, also against Tanzania. We won it. And then uh, even we had to go to Zambia for the work and we won it. So we started with victories here against the teams you spoke about. The victory against Cameroon 4-0, there were f fresh uh, African champions. This one was a big one, <laughs> it was particularly uh, wonderful for us. But the victory against Zambia 1-0, which gave us the qualification for the World Cup, was the best one. And even after, remember, we go to Algeria, we made a good match, a draw, but we lost it on the green carpet, to remember. But we were already qualified, fortunately for everybody. Thank you, Coach. Final question. Uh, 
during that sensitivity. I hope it's about the match. Yes. Please. It's for the player. Mr. Lim is ACNLT. Let's next Nigeria. Last time you faced two ideas of Nigeria, you were able to come from behind to win. But I want to say for the players, is there enough motivation going into that game? Oh, I think it's uh, the spirit we have now in the team. Uh, we don't give up. We uh, we try to play together. We try to to fight together on the pitch, and that will be important tomorrow. That will be very important to have this uh, mindset, and uh, because it's going to be a difficult game, I think. So, um, so what can I say? I say the, the only thing is we're going to try to do a good game tomorrow and make a result. That's it. Thank you very much. Good. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh,